Songland is aptly titled because it really is about songs. It's about songwriters. And songwriters by nature are, you know, a, a really different breed. I mean, it's a sensitivity. It's a, a love, a passion of music that really goes way beyond just having hits on the radio or making money. People who choose this career um, know that the chances of really breaking through as a songwriter are so incredibly slim. You have to want to do this at all costs. Meeting these contestant songwriters, you know, whatever we're calling them, they are, you know, they're us, they're me. And so I have such an empathy for someone who would stand on a stage and sing an original song in front of a big star. And when I say they're me, that's one thing I've never had to do. We don't pitch songs like that in, you know, the music business. We don't stand in front of someone and have to bear our soul. We can send an email or have someone else play the song. And then if the artist doesn't like it, they can respond in private. Here, if the artist doesn't respond, it's face to face. And I just think that's so brave and so vulnerable of these people to come out and do this. And um, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this process. I'm in love with this show. I was absolutely meant to be here because this is what I do in my everyday life. Uh, nothing has changed except the clothes are a little better and there's way better lighting. Songwriting is objective. It's not like I could tell someone how to write a song because the greatest thing is when someone breaks form, breaks structure, does something totally unexpected that, you know, if you were teaching the ABCs of songwriting, you might go, that doesn't make any sense. That's the funnest part about meeting people on this show is that they haven't yet been like given the playbook of all the rules. Like you can't do that if you write a hit. That's how you become a superstar songwriter is by doing things that people say you can't. So I'm just, you know, honored that they would trust me with these songs, that they open their hearts, that they open their stories. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't say enough about it. I, I just, I love Songland, and that sounds like, you know, I'm reading something off a page because I can't say it enough. I, I want to live in Songland. Well, I've learned so much about what, what my gift is and, and what I'm, you know, I'm a songwriter, so you think, oh, you're good with melody, you're good with lyrics. What I've found is that my true passion around this is around people. I connect with these songwriters in a way that I never saw coming. I mean, it's a TV show. So I thought, you know, that we would meet these songwriters, help them get it right, make it look good for the cameras. But what's happened is that I'm so connected to these people and spending days with them, learning their stories, what it's taken them to get here. And ultimately, all the stories are completely different, but they're all the same. And with every turn, it's like, I did that. I worked at that job. I lost that cut. Um, I, it's just amazing how you just hear your own story in theirs. And that's the part that I really didn't see coming. Every week we have a superstar looking for a song. And um, this is very real to the music industry. This is what they're doing. They're working on records, they're making music, and they're looking for songs. And so, I'll use an example of, you know, Macklemore. So he comes in and he sits with us and five songwriters, one at a time, come out and pitch a song to Macklemore. And uh, he was a special case because he writes his own raps, but he's looking for a chorus, something that would make sense in his world. So we hear five and then we all jump in one at a time as the songs are played and we say, what we think they could do to make the song better. It's not a, a hit songwriter telling uh, an unknown songwriter, this is how you have hits. It's more about going, hey, did you think about maybe making your chorus your verse? Or maybe this is a ballad and you thought it was a tempo. Um, if you switch this one line, that's gonna set your hook up better. And the collaboration process begins. We pull out our instruments, we get the band to help us out, we're changing chords, we're changing melodies, and it's, it's all just a free-for-all. It's a true writing room on cameras. That's what we do in our real life every day.